everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating in my studio. Every day I share a video with you on YouTube in which I paint and create all sorts of nature inspired pictures. I also share loads of tips on how to make the most of your painting journey, interrupted fairly frequently by our family of dogs, cats, chickens and sheep. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. Hi everyone and welcome to my studio. It's an absolutely scorching hot day today and uh, so I'm going to try to do this painting as loosely as possible um, in order to basically get out of what can only be compared to a cool oven. Um, it's literally, it's I have a metal roof on my studio and uh, it cooks me. Anyway, um, this is my sketch, my rough sketch colour tryouts um, for these lilies, which I'm going to do using my three favourite colours because it's too hot to think. So we're going to go with, uh, I promise you when the weather cools off, we'll use some different colours. How does that sound? Um, Conacridone gold, permanent rose, cobalt blue, and from the blue and the gold, we can mix our greens and we can do the shadow colors for the lilies using a little bit of cobalt blue. And uh, this is a, a terrible mess, but it gives me the idea of where I'm headed. So uh, if you want to come with me, stay where you are right now. Um, this is the sketch, which will be available for you on the website, free of charge to download. Um, from there, along with all the others that we've put up over the last uh, six months, we've just passed 200 videos now, according to vidIQ, they've just told us that. So we've been working so hard, busy little bees, aren't we, over the last six months. And so that's great. Um, we've also put up on the website, we've been cheeky and we've put a tip jar there. So if anybody wants to contribute to the running costs of the studio so that we can afford to keep going, indefinitely um, please uh, using paypal you can pop a few dollars into there you can also set up a monthly um, if you want a couple of people already have which is marvelous thank you so much um, and a few people have already given us a tip <laughs> not a racing tip um, anyway so yes this is rather than doing patreon and things like that. I want to offer as much for free as I can and I'm going to depend on everybody's generosity because, because. Okay, so this is the sketch and I'm going to plunge into it with gay abandon. <coughs> um, <laughs> I hope. The um, stamens are quite important in these lilies. Oh, they are lilies. Did I mention that? Um, here is a photo of some beautiful lilies that um, Sylvia sent me from Germany. These grow in her garden and um, they're spectacular. And a couple of other people have been putting up pictures of lilies too. So I thought I'd give it a go. It's not something I've painted very often, to be honest. They are a flower which I worry about a little bit because I believe the pollen is dangerous to animals. So I don't have them in the house or in the garden, but they are beautiful, no doubt about that. So um, you could do this wet on dry or you can do it wet in wet and I might do a bit of both just for the sake of variety so I've wet those petals and I'm going to first of all oh drop in some gold and say a little prayer for me Aretha You don't want too much. It's ever so tempting to, to just, you know, as I say, gay abandon. But you, you also have to stop. You want an impression, not detail. Frankly, I can't stand paintings that are too realistic. And so there's my stance on that. Um, I don't know how this paper is going to work. It's a sheet I found in my drawer and it says on it, it says on it AWP 
and I'm praying that that means Arches watercolour paper. It may or may not be. Um, okay, so second one, I'm going to try it wet on dry. So you can see the difference. We were talking the other day, weren't we, about patience and how you have to wait for things to dry in uh, if you're doing wet on wet or layers and, and so on and so forth. And that's it's true. And you have to also give the paper the time to uh, breathe into the water, into the paint. So I've decided that wet on dry is better for this paper. I've got some quite nice effects going on there, especially on this one. And we'll see how this one pans out. Um, and then I'm going to put some blue with my rose color and do these buds. And then what we will do is just drag the color down for the green. I'm going to leave the rest of it to dry for a sec because um, I'll, I'll end up touching it. So there's another one here. And I want just a tiny bit of pink. Important thing to remember when you're doing this kind of thing is to make sure that the three of them are similar in tone. You don't want, it can be different colors and color mixtures, but you don't want them to be, um, one of them to be much darker than the other. And this is going to totally depend on the reaction of the paint to the paper and how it dries as to whether or not it's going to be good. Well, pleasing to the eye. Um, as far as the color goes for the green, um, we don't want it too green-ish, do we really? Oh, the buds can be green as well. So let's put one in there. And then one of the ways I like to do leaves is to try to pick up two colors on the brush at the same time and then drop them in like that. If you vary the pressure on the brush, you can get all sorts of different combinations. Okay, um, I'm going to, this one needs a stem and I think it's gonna have to go here. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to wait for it to dry 
and then I need to rub out some of the pencil lines and uh, then we come in with a second layer. Okay, so it's dry now and um, I'm going to drop in some darker um, colour in the bottom, in the centre, here, and uh, just encourage that to bleed out a little bit, like that. And I'm going to do that in all of them, all three. This is very abstract, as you can see. Um, not realistic at all, except I'm hoping that you will be able to recognize it as really, really-ish. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more green on the stems and It could definitely take a few more leaves. These do seem to be fairly um, generously endowed with leaves, so wherever you feel that another leaf would um, benefit the composition, you can just pop one in. And we're getting a little bit of a hard line there on the center and just soften it up a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And um, then the key, I think, uh, to making this really look like um, what we recognize as lilies is to put um, the stamens in. So I'm just not doing the stamens at the moment. I'm just doing something to the bud there. I'm not entirely sure that that worked particularly well, so I'm going to try to soften that up a little bit. There we go. Lift a little bit out, perhaps. Okay, so now the thing is with these stamens, I have a very dark, well, usually a fairly dark kind of, um, what do you call it? Anther, I think. And so that's going to be a mixture of all three colors. I'm going to put quinacridone gold and the um, cobalt blue and pink to make a nice dark brown. And then I'm looking at the photo and thinking this is actually quite important to get these right. So they seem to kind of go in a ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. And this paint is quite thick. Some of them seem to go sideways like that. Some of them seem to be more vertical like that. And do six there too. And over here. It probably depends on the 
um, what do you call it, the variety as to whether or not um, whether or not they're vertical or horizontal and I'm just going to draw in the the anthers sorry the stamens with watercolour and um, I'm not going to play around with this at all because it's just too jolly old hot. Um, I'm going to put some um, right behind my toothbrush. I'm going to put some cobalt blue spatter in the sky. Just try it out over here. A little bit down here, perhaps. You could go over it with pen, you could make it more detailed in the petals, you could add a lot more leaves, you could darken the leaves, um, but I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to let it dry completely before um, we put it on the video so that you can see. Um, There's always a temptation, isn't there? Anyway, it's too hot here. I have to leave before I faint. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for being here. Um, I wish I had air conditioning. <laughs> um, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications. And uh, don't forget the tip jar. If you feel that way inclined, go to the website dianantone.com and download as many sketches as you want. Um, tip jar is both there and in the about tab on my channel. If you haven't discovered the channel yet, do take a look. Just type in Diane Anton Studio and search for the channel and you will find 200 videos there which you can paint your way through. By the time you've painted through 200 videos, I can guarantee you, you will have made magnificent progress in your painting. No question about it. Not that I'm a brilliant teacher or anything like that, but just painting every day will bring you to success. No question. Guaranteed. And you don't have to pay a penny for it. So I'm off before I melt and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.